Hi, in our organization Exmos, we consistently share our learnings every week. Our articles are published through a self-hosted ghost platform known as Exmos Channel. The ghost blog platform is an open source blogging platform. We are using ghost because it has numerous features such as nice theme customization, admin dashboard, newsletter, API integration, and so on. But one major problem that we are facing continuously with ghost platforms is their web editor. It's painful to write four or five pages in the editor, and the markdown feature of the editor is not friendly enough for technical teams who are working in a different development environment. There are other ghost users who are annoyed by the ghost web editor. Another problem in major content platform is content history management. Once we modify the content in the editor, we can go back to the previous stage. Also, at a time, two content writers can work together in the ghost editor. Even WordPress doesn't have a good backup system. To address all the issues, we thought of creating a better blogging setup for technical teams. As the first step, we find a Markdown and Git based solution. We choose Markdown because, as a technical person, Markdown is well understood and everyone in the team is used to it. For content history management, we can use Git. Combining all the ideas, we build the best blogging setup for technical teams. Let's check the setup in detail. Glee is an open source, development friendly blogging setup which publishes Markdown files into Ghost Blog posters. With Glee, you can create and update Ghost Blog. Since Glee operates on plain Markdown files, your blog posters are now kit friendly, allowing for easy collaboration. Let me show you a demo of how Glee works. This is one Markdown file for Glee. The Markdown file has two sections. The first section is the YAML part, and the second section, the content part. In the YAML part, we add the metadata for the blog post, and the content part, we add the markdown, that means the content of your article. For publishing the article to the ghost blog, we need to run the Glee command. Run the command Glee, followed by the file name. After the process finishes, Glee will return a preview ghost URL of the blog post. Copy and paste the URL in the web browser to view your content in the ghost blog platform. The markdown file transformed into a ghost blog article with a proper title, author name, feature image, and other meta options. Also, you can see the title and the content of the article. So what we return in the markdown file, it's uh, transformed into a content, including the code blog, list, and everything. For collaborating with other content writers, push the markdown file into GitLab or GitHub. And from GitHub or GitLab, you can create a merge request or other content writers can pull the repository and edit on the same article. In our organization, we maintain a repository in GitLab for storing the blog content. Whenever I want the previous blog posts, I can just take a pull from this repository and work on it. So here you can see the article that we writing in the markdown file, I pushed into the uh, our common general repository. So if other content writers want to uh, collaborate on this, they can take a pull from it and work on the same article. Let's check how to install and configure Lee. If you are using Linux, Mac OS, or Linux via WSL, simply run the single line command to install or update Glee. For Windows users, open the command prompt as an administrator and execute this PowerShell command. Open your terminal and paste the one line command to install Glee. Now the installation is completed, you can verify the installation by running the command Glee in your terminal. So the next step is Glee is saying add the const, ghost configuration in a .glee.tml file and this file is located in, in your home directory inside the users. So next step is we need to open the configuration file and add the credentials. This is the configuration file for Glee. The file name is .glee.tml and in this file there are four sections. The first section is the ghost configuration and here uh, we configure in the ghost blog platform API key, the admin API key, and the ghost version, and the ghost URL. The ghost URL is the self-hosted URL of your ghost blog platform. And the second section is the blog configuration. This is the global configuration for all blog posts. And here there are a sidebar DOC, featured, status, called highlight the options. So if sidebar DOC is equal to true in the global configuration, for every article that you are publishing using the Glee, there will be sidebar DOC in the right side of the article. Also, you can override that behavior for individual article using specifying the sidebar DOC in the YAML structure of the article. Also, Glee support five themes for code highlighting. So if you have a code block, you can choose Monokai, Native, Pasty, Vimar, Fruity for your theme selection. And this is also the global theme. For example, if the theme is Monokai, 
then for every article that you are publishing usingly will have monokai as a code block theme that also you can customize from for the individual article from the yaml structure of the markdown file and the next section is the image configuration so on the glee support to image story mechanism aws s3 or uh, ghost database so if the image backend is a ghost then glee will store the blog post images including the feature image the ghost database or if the image backend is s3 glee will store the image in an aws s3 bucket and the last section is the aws s3 configuration if you are using s3 as the image backend then you need to give the access key secret key and the bucket name of the aws s3 bucket yeah so this is the configuration file now let's check the markdown file in detail about the yaml structure and the content part so this is the markdown structure of the uh, glee markdown file so in this section uh, as i said before there are two sections first section is the yaml structure and the second one is your content so the what in the left side is the input that means the content in the markdown format and the right side this is the final blog post that you are showing in the ghost blog platform so here in the yaml structure these are the metadata for the article the title the title will appear here and others so you can mention uh, one or uh, many others and those others name will display in the blog and tags you can also specify your tags by comma separated values so if the next option is a featured if featured is true then the article will show as featured article and the next option is status so status has two options one is published and another one another option is a draft so if it's published then it will show us the final article and uh, if it's uh, in draft then it's in a draft mode so if our uh, if the article is not finalized yet then uh, that will be the draft mode and once everything is ready you can publish it using the keyword published in the status so next option is excerpt excerpt is a short summary about the article and this excerpt will show here also in the main landing page of your ghost blog platform and you can specify a short summary of the article in the excerpt and the sidebar toc so sidebar toc if the value is true then uh, the this uh, sidebar will show here in the uh, glee article and if it's false then uh, you can disable this uh, sidebar and feature image this is a image path to an image and the same image will appear as the feature image in the article and code highlight theme so as i discussed before glee support five theme for uh, code block highlighting syntax highlighting and uh, here i'm using monokai so monokai is a default uh, theme and uh, the monokai theme will look like this for the uh, markdown syntax and for the yaml structure yeah and the last option is the slug so in this metadata the slug is important because slug determine your blog post is a unique one or is it a modification of xsd one so you can see the value slug will comes as the endpoint in the url so if i mention slug equal to glee then the your article url is slash glee and in this structure uh, except slug like all these uh, things are optional if you mention the uh, status and uh, featured in the uh, co global configuration else slug like stat uh, status and uh, feature uh, featured is uh, uh, mandatory and rest of the things are optional so this is a yaml structure and here the content part so in the content writing problem uh, this is the first heading i given to this article and this heading will show here content writing problem and uh, glee also support another kind of table of content so if you don't want a, this kind of sidebar table of content uh, so this is sidebar table of content then uh, you can uh, use the uh, table of content in the uh, content itself so here this is a normal uh, markdown toc you can this is optional if you want then you can use toc else uh, disable it so then uh, the below content writing problem you can specify the uh, list so every markdown syntax glee support including the uh, adding the link then uh, bold different heading levels and the code block and syntax highlighting and, uh, and the also glee support uh, uh, tables so using glee you can add uh, tables and the images also uh, you can specify the path to the image and that image will show in the article also you can attach badges so here i'm attaching a twitter badge and uh, the link to different other uh, things and uh, yeah the uh, italics so all these markdown features uh, glee support you can execute glee command for any times for a uh, markdown file into the glee space then the uh, name of the markdown file dot md also glee support two other commands and if you do glee iphone h 
we have iphone hyphen, hyphen config and iphone hyphen, hyphen debug options so if you want to see the configuration in the terminal itself you can do glee iphone hyphen config the glee will display the uh, credentials in the terminal also the path to the dot glee dot tml configuration file also if you face any error in the uh, glee command you can use the glee debug command with the glee uh, the name of the article then iphone hyphen, hyphen debug option so this will display the detailed uh, error message in the execution Thanks for watching the Glee demo. Share your feedback about the Glee in the comment section. Thank you.